So the next question is find the values of tan inverse of 1, cos inverse of minus 1 by 2 and sin inverse of minus 1 by 2. We will deal with each and every one. Tan inverse of 1. What is tan inverse of 1? It is pi by 4. Isn't it? What about cos inverse of minus 1 by 2? Cos inverse of minus 1 by 2 is which angle value of cos gives you 1 by 2? Cos of 60, isn't it? So pi by 3 gives you 1 by 1 by 2. So again negative must be there. So what will be the value? Cos of pi minus pi by 3 will give you the value minus 1 by 2. And what is pi minus pi by 3? Pi minus pi by 3 is 2 pi by 3. So this value will be pi minus pi by 3 which gives you the value 2 pi by 3. Okay. And again one more is there. Sine inverse of minus 1 by 2. That also we can calculate. Which value of sine gives you 1 by 2? Sine 30. That is pi by 6 gives you 1 by 2. So that when we multiply with a negative sign, sine of minus pi by 6 gives you minus 1 by 2. So sine inverse of minus 1 by 2 will be equal to minus pi by 6. Okay. So what is the value which we have to calculate? Tan inverse of 1 plus cos inverse of minus 1 by 2 plus sine inverse of minus 1 by 2 that is equal to pi by 4 plus 2 pi by 3 minus pi by 6. Take the LCM of 4, 6 and 3. The LCM gives you the value 12. So 4 into 3 gives you 12. So 3 pi. 3 into 4 gives you 12. So 8 pi. And 6 into 2 gives you 12 minus 2 pi. 8 plus 3, 11. 11 minus 2 gives you 9. 9 pi by 12. And simplified, you are getting the value 3 pi by 4. Okay. So to calculate what will it is, we just calculate the principal value of each and every term and just simplified and we got the value 3 pi by 4.